happy monday welcome to a work week in my life today is monday and typically on mondays i have a full schedule of clients but for some reason this week this is the last week of january um no one scheduled <laughs> this today no one scheduled appointments today i had a few people who had to reschedule um so they just scheduled for um tomorrow or thursday so i have a pretty much free day to do like admin work so i decided to record a video today this one included so i'm recording this week in the life and then i'm recording uh, my how to stay accountable video and yeah it's just gonna be a very slow like day today like nothing major i am still debating if i so i want to record i'm going to record right after i finish eating breakfast um but i want to i'm debating if i should go to a coffee shop after like i'm done recording and then just like finish my the rest of the work day at the coffee shop um yeah so that's kind of what i think i'm gonna do because i i just want to like separate today I don't want to be in the room all day in like my home office and then my husband Adam he works from home on Mondays so typically when we're both working on Mondays from home I'm in the office inside and need privacy and then he we have like a desk outside in the living room um and so he uses that so I kind of want to give him the whole like office for himself so I, because I just need to record today and that should j just take about 30 minutes so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna finish getting ready get some breakfast and then get the day started and probably go to a new coffee shop or like an old coffee me i don't know i might just go to my comfort coffee shop because it feels like a day today um it sucks nobody scheduled appointments today but it's okay that's just like what happens with like being your own business owner like you're not always going to have people schedule um and so that's just how things are and you just have to today my word of the day uh in my journal it'll ask you what is one word you want to embody today and for me it's resilience because this month of january i was sick so i couldn't see clients that week i was blessed that the following week was super busy but now it's like back to not being super busy and so or not being busy or like consistent and so it kind of worries me because you know like that means fluctuating months and i'm i mean this is my third year in business no fourth year fourth year in business i think and you would know by now you would think by now i would just like understand that that's just how life happens right that i would just be okay with it but no um so we'll see and i just feel a little bit anxious today with that but i'm trying to be positive and be grateful for my clients and i have to tell my brain like this is not a representation of how your business is going to go for the rest of the month or how their business is going to go for the rest of the year i'm trying to keep myself grounded like that i am ready for the day i wanted to show you my um my vision board because i don't think i showed you guys i went to this event and i did a physical vision board and this is what it all looks like and i think it looks so so good i put it right here where i get ready that way i just have it first thing in like first thing in mind in the morning like these are the things to remind me like to stay consistent in my goals and keep myself accountable and i don't know i just really really liked everything that i put here get ready to record because i want to record it's 803 i usually like to sit down and not eat while i work um especially for breakfast but i really just want to get this done and that way i can go to the coffee shop and then be done with my day by noon 
um, because I don't have any clients today. So that's gonna be the plan. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'll show you what my, I did, oh, I, I do write my to-do list on my planner. So let me show you. So this is the weekly view and these are like the most, the top priority. This is what I have going on, Put recording day. I have a team meeting on Tuesday. Need to get my car clean, catching up with a friend, catching up with another friend, yoga and coffee. Wow, I didn't even spell that right, okay. Um, and then here I have my habits. So we've actually done some habits this morning, so we're gonna, we're gonna mark some off. But this is today's to-do list, and like you can see, get ready breakfast, and then nine and 9.30 record, but since it's eight, I'm just gonna like eat breakfast and then try to record at 8.30 and then have admin work and then lunch and then I don't have anything for the rest of the week. But here I love this because you can add like your workouts, one kind of thing for yourself, a kind of thing for someone and then tidy for 15 minutes. I genuinely don't have anything that I need to tidy. I think the only thing is like probably do a load of laundry, but that's about it. So I might put that there. So I'm gonna record my video. I The video is how to hold yourself accountable, stop holding yourself back, and stick to your personal boundaries. This video should probably go up um, towards the end of February. Uh, so yeah, it'll probably go up after this video. Um, but this is kind of what I do when it comes to like creating my YouTube videos. I have, well, first of all, this was actually a video requested by one of you guys. So um, I have the notes for when somebody completes a request form. And then here I have like brainstorm, the actual final script. Um, so here's my brainstorm. So I'm just gonna go over it. And once it's finalized, I'm gonna move it over here in script and then I'm gonna start recording but i even put like ideas as far as like the thumbnail so i'll get inspiration from other people um and just to get an idea of like oh, okay this is kind of the thumbnail i am going for um uh, but yeah i think this is just the way i like to keep myself organized i have all of the tasks here so all the ones that are mine and then all the ones that are my virtual assistant, like Kaylee's. So that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna finalize this video because I usually what I do for sit down videos that kind of have a, like there's like a teaching component and then there's like, I wanna give you the tangible action steps for that video. I will, I will put this on my community tab I will let people know like, hey, I'm doing a video like this and what are your, like, do you want any um, feedback? So someone has already asked for some feedback on this. And so I'm gonna like screenshot what they said and then that way I can incorporate it into the video. And I've been really liking this. I try to pick about to people's um, like real scenario so that I can give them feedback. So subscriber number one, put this here. And then subscriber, subscriber number two. So I'm, I'm excited about for this, I'm a little nervous, but excited as well. I'm always nervous about sit down videos because I'm still like, I still like to have my notes and I still haven't been able to what, like memorize everything that I've written down. Um, it's so much easier when we're, I'm doing a podcast because I have all my notes. I feel like I'm able to articulate everything. And so I'm still working through doing, you know, face to face. Um, what is it? No, not face to face. 
uh, just sit down videos where I'm just talking directly to the camera without looking at any of my notes. That is still something that I am working on and I am hoping that it's uh, something that I will improve over time. But yeah, so let's go ahead and record this video. I'm gonna record some clips of me recording on my phone because I only have one camera. Like that's the reality when you are like early on in your YouTube career, you're not gonna have like multiple cameras uh, for different angles. And I was like, I don't have multiple cameras. I have my G7X, um, which is meant to be a vlog camera, but I use it for everything. And um, just my iPhone. So, there's no excuse if you want to start a channel and don't feel intimidated that some people have like several different cameras and things like that like work your way up um i know that once i've worked my way up and i've made some more um revenue from youtube i'm going to invest that to buy an additional camera but for now this is what we're working with so let's go ahead and start recording hello 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 Okay, cool. So I am, I too, I, I like to record the audio here and I do that in GarageBand and then I just combine the audio um, when I'm editing. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and set it all up. Start with the intro. Are you ready to take charge of your life? Today, we're going to tackle how to hold yourself accountable, how to stop holding yourself back and stick to your own personal boundaries. I am done recording. This is actually not on, but I am done. I really, really hope that that went well. I feel like the audio is a little low, so I don't know. Let me see. Only close friends as okay cool so we're done with that i'm gonna actually export the footage and put it into my hard drive and then it is 8 56 so it took me about a good 45 minutes to record because i was stopping and then my i was so like congested i don't know why so now i'm gonna go ahead and do that export it of your life today we're going to tackle how to hold yourself okay. this is the outfit of the day I'm going to the coffee shop and I just want to be really, really comfortable today. I just, I'm not seeing any clients. So today I'm just doing admin work. So I'm just going to be in my sweats and I actually pick up my outfits uh, for the week. So here's like a picture. I don't have anything on Saturday or Sunday because um, I don't think I have plans. So I didn't really pick out an outfit for that, but yeah, we're repeating this outfit. I'm washing this tonight, today because I need to do a load of laundry because um, I'm, rewearing this on Wednesday since I'm doing project 333 which is wearing 33 pieces of items for three months but yes let's go to the coffee shop because it is 9 15 I haven't had any coffee and I'm ready for some coffee things that they needed to correct 
So if you are starting to work with brands, make sure you look through the contracts, because if not, you might get into something that you don't want to get into. So I'm gonna send the email to correct it and for Bryson anything. But I'm excited because this is going to be a podcast partnership. Um, and I'm really excited about the brand. I just need the contract to be corrected. But other than that, I have a few things to get done. And then I'll be done with the work day. It's 10.13. But it just got super quiet here. Could be a separate I got ready for the day and I'm gonna make a quick breakfast. I'm probably just gonna do like a like frozen waffle type situation because I don't know what it is about Tuesdays where I'm just always in a rush and I woke up at 5 40 in the morning so I don't know if I have to wake up at like 5 20 or 5 o'clock because I'm always like 20 to 30 minutes behind like I just feel rushed to do the rest of this and usually I plan my day the day before and I didn't do that so that's what I'm going to do I have a couple of sessions this morning um virtually so I'm gonna stay in my home office this morning and then in the afternoon I'm gonna go into the office because I have two clients in the afternoon and I have a meeting with my virtual assistant so whew, sorry I'm in a rush but I'm going to schedule my day write my to-do list um and then we, and then I'll do um I'll see my first client at 8 a.m um if you hear background uh my husband's also getting ready for work so we're just rushing today so let's go ahead and plan for the day since i did a lot of my admin work yesterday I only have to do my team meeting. Um, I put, I have to draft a treatment plan, but I think I already did it yesterday and I just don't remember because I didn't mark it off. Um, so I just put it here and then I just need to record today's um, vlog, which I'm doing right now. And yeah, so I have some virtual clients this morning and then I forgot I have a new client today. Super exciting and it's an in-person. Um, I love it when I have new clients and they're in-person. So I need to review, oh, that's what I need to do. I need to review their paperwork. So I'm gonna put that there. Review new client paperwork. And I'll probably do that during, it'll be a working lunch today because I won't have time in between unless a client cancels, which wouldn't be, I mean, usually you get like one cancellation a week. Um, so I don't know, we'll see where the day takes us. But yeah, we have five clients, one meeting, and then we're done for the day at 3 p.m., which is awesome. And oh, that is my waffle. So I'm gonna go and eat while I check emails and things like that. This is the mug we're gonna use today. I'm really trying to make something bad happen. Whoa, real life, oh my gosh. Every time I wear white, like accidents happen. So we are gonna keep it. 
try to keep this white shirt white. I swear, I swear I'm never <laughs> I'm never this chaotic in the morning um, and it, I think it's because I really just take my time um, with like my workouts and I really enjoy it but then when I'm getting ready and having breakfast it all feels rushed so I need to figure out a better timeline um, yesterday wasn't rushed but today was Tuesdays are just always rushed so I need to figure out maybe waking up at 5 in the morning which I don't know mm. So it's 7.43 and we have time to do my new client notes for this afternoon. I just like to write a couple of notes um, based on their intake paperwork and I actually use good notes for this. Um, I ended up finishing my notebook so I had a lot of notebooks that I hadn't finished and I really wanted to use those notebooks up before I started using my client template and right now this is what it looks like i don't know if you could see let me see this is what it looks like um it's just simple it just has client initials the session date and the cool thing about good notes is that you can actually password protect or passcode protect um the the documents so i like that even though i try to not put any identifying information when I'm writing notes you just never know right you just never know so so yeah I I do this it has been super helpful for me to just be able to write these notes so I'm gonna do that like I said it, I just write some of the notes from the intake paperwork um intake paperwork is just like when you're a therapist when you first start off as a therapist they're gonna send you, you either do it in the office but i feel like now most people do it digital they send you digital paperwork this is like an informed consent like how we can use your information um and just like private practice policies like the late policy like what happens with how do we authorize your credit card all of those things and then a couple of questionnaires just to get an idea of like what you're like why you're coming to therapy um, and just to get some background and then during your first intake session we use that information from your intake and ask maybe more clarifying questions for you to dive a little bit deeper and it's really helpful for the therapist and also for the client because like you don't go in thinking like my therapist has nothing my new therapist has no idea anything about like has no idea about anything about why i'm coming here and so for me, what usually happens is when they do, they do a consultation, because I like to vet out all my clients first. So they'll do a consultation and then I get some information there and then the, send them the intake paperwork if I do feel like we're a good fit and we wanna move forward. And yeah, that is basically the gist of how things work. And so we're gonna look at this client's paperwork and just write a couple of notes. And this is the client that I have at 12, so it'll be after lunch. I really hope that I do not get any coffee on the shirt. Because I won't have to change, but okay. Getting ready for this session. I have my little mic right here. So I am done with my sessions for the morning. Um, my 10 o'clock ended up canceling. So I have an hour before lunch. So I'm gonna write my case notes for those two sessions and 
um you know i said that i needed a draft a treatment plan i had already done it yesterday um i just totally forgot to mark it off so i had already done that and today me and my client went over their treatment plan just send it off um but yeah this month is really just about updating those treatment plans um because again november december i just could not be bothered to do that and i don't like that because then i feel behind so i think i just have like three more and then i'm completely like up to date with all of my treatment plans which makes me feel so good um but yeah i'm gonna to do i'm going to write my case note um i use simple practice to uh, store all of my case notes that's where my clients have their client portal and everything and really so i just i type it here on my not type it i write notes on my ipad and then i just use this um as i'm typing uh, but i don't like copy and paste it or anything um like from my ipad to this like i like writing on my ipad like if i were to write it on a regular notebook um and now that's what i'm gonna do i don't know what they're doing outside it's like so noisy but let's go ahead and type some of these case notes okay so i've already like i said i've already done the treatment plan and then i had to review new client paperwork and then respond to emails um and this is basically my schedule so i just had virtual clients lunch a new client my team meeting and another client but i just had my team meeting then and just finished recording this vlog and then i'm done so i'm gonna actually um prepare my bag for going into the office Yesterday we didn't cook, so now I am. Now I just have to do a frozen meal because we didn't cook yesterday. So this has been one of my favorite frozen meals from Trader Joe's. It's so good. So I'm gonna make that for lunch. I'm gonna take Wilson out to go to the restroom because he's been in his crate. And I think I'm gonna put my hair up because it just feels so poofy and I don't like it. So I'm gonna put it up in a bun, just putting flyaways away. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna put this sweater on. I've already gone makeup here and just like right there. I don't know why I do this to myself and I'm eating red, po red sauce pasta. So I really, really <laughs> am just living dangerously today, but this is the outfit. Um, and I think it's really cute. I'm in the office. And I have my client at 12. It is 11.43. This is my new client, so I'm so excited. And I only have this client, my team meeting, and then another client. And then I'm done for the day. So I'm going to review the case notes that I wrote down. And that's going to be it. I'm so excited. Um, I feel like you guys have already seen the office before, but here's pretty much it. That stuff is, I share this office with another therapist, so those are her things. But this is the office. I love the view. I need to, I need to put the blinds up, but it is so nice and cozy. I a little snack.
hello. Oh, okay, there you go. I had like the speaker, the microphone on the, the AirPods and it always sounds like I'm underwater for some reason. Um, I'm also vlogging, so today has been such a freaking chaotic day. So I'm just gonna get a quick little clip here. But yeah, it's been a chaotic day. I needed, I needed some sugar. I needed to get like a, a little something, but how are you? Good morning. This is the outfit for today. I have a client um, in the morning and I also have a catch up call with a friend. Um, and then I have one client in the afternoon. So the afternoon client is an in person client, so I'll be going into the office. But so I wanted to be comfy since the majority of the day I'm going to be spending at home. So I just wore these comfy like linen pants. And this is also part of my Project 333 stuff. So yeah, I initially was going to wear jeans today, but it was gonna be just a comfy day at home. So we're not doing that, but I have a call right now at nine, it is 8.18. So I'm gonna get a couple of things done before my call. On Tuesday afternoon, before I left the office, I did do my planning. It's probably one of those things that I need to put on my calendar, like plan after each day, um, because if I don't do it, I just feel like I'm in a rush. Um, but yeah, let's see today what we have going on. I don't really think it's gonna be a, a huge busy day. Okay, so for today, we are going to edit my accountability video. Um, and then upload the video to YouTube. I already did the thumbnail on a Monday. This is the video that I filmed on Monday. And then, um, yeah, I just have to catch up with my therapist friend, Sierra. And I'm excited to chat with her because I haven't chat with her, I wanna say since last year, and I just kinda of wanna see what she's been up to, see how her business has been going. Um, so she is a therapist, I believe in Florida. She travels a lot, so I feel like she's in Florida right now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna catch up, see how she's doing, and I will put all her information right here so you can follow her on Instagram. I'm pretty sure she also has a YouTube channel and a podcast. I've been on her podcast, so I'll put that down below as well. Uh, so I'm just going to catch up with her. I do have to update my habit tracker because I just finished all my habits for the month of January. I think I just have to fill out Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And then I have to just like copy the Google sheet and make a new one. Uh, and I think I'm gonna stick to the same habits for the month of February since they're all pretty much tied to my 12 week year. And yeah, I, Yesterday was the last day of January as far as like how I've been doing with my like reaching 6,000 steps every day. I did a total of, I want to say, let's see, I did a total of 21 out of 31 days, which is so good in my opinion. I think that that is amazing. And I'm so proud of myself for doing um, at least 21 out of the 31 days because there was a week where I was pretty sick. And so I was like feeling like I could have gone at least to 25 out of 31 days because I know some days I just don't reach them. I do try to get at least 3,000 steps in at a minimum um, on the days that I'm just like not really walking a lot. but. That's what we're going to do today. Um, and yeah, and I'll show you here like my progress for my my 6,000 steps. So we're gonna do that. Again, it's gonna be a very chill day because I think I only have like three clients today. Um, Tuesday was the bulk of the, my clients this week. Next week is gonna be so busy. 
I was looking at my, it's funny because sometimes there's weeks where it's like super slow and then there's that one week where it's like everybody's scheduled. And so typically a slow week for me would be like seven, no, let me see how many clients I have this week. This, this would be considered a slow week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this would be a super slow week. So I had eight clients this week and then on you typically on a busy week it'll be 16 clients because like i have 18 spots for the week right and so those 18 spots don't always get filled so a typical like busy day would be like 15 um and then like an average would be when i get 10 to 12 a week so that has been um kind of what how i've been seeing things like at least the very first week of the month it's always slow for some reason as opposed to the last no the first the last week of the month is pretty slow the first week of the month is pretty busy so i don't know i was going on but i'm not i'm just grateful that i have clients and that i can continue doing my business but i'm going to get this habit tracker done Oh, I love it. It's such a vibe. I... <laughs> hey, we're Stanley twins. <gasps> what lead thing? I just finished with my client um i ended up jumping right after oof, the lighting I ended up jumping right after my call with sierra um to then my client because it was like i had i we talked for like an hour um and then i had my client right after that but um my 4 p.m ended up rescheduling so we're not going into the office today you, this usually happens like this usually happens um so it's totally fine um but yeah, they ended up having to cancel and then I had to reschedule. So we don't have any clients this afternoon. So I think all I'm going to do is I'm going to do some lunch right now. Take Wilson out for a walk. Um, and then I'm just going to edit probably the whole day. Um, and finish work early. This is a very chill week. Um, so I'm sorry if I don't have a lot of clips or, or work isn't as interesting. Um, it's kind of hard to as a therapist. Like I can't really show a lot of things because um, of HIPAA. And so I hope that this is still something that's enjoyable. Let me know if it's like work weeks in life or if you just really like just like day in life. So I'm just like trying things out. But I'm going to heat up my food. I ended up making salmon, asparagus, and pesto pasta. Sounds so good right now. And me and Wilson are gonna chill. Hey, look at him. Look at him. Look at this cutie pie. Hi, cutie. Hi. This is lunch. It looks so good. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Oof, that was so good. That was so good. I am now going to, I don't know if I should change. I kind of want to change into pajama pants. So I'm going to do just edit. I'm going to stay in this work. I think I'm just going to stay in my work stuff so that I could feel, because I feel like when I'm, I change into my pajama pants, not pajama pants, but like my loungewear, um, I'm gonna get lazy and I'm not gonna finish recording, uh, editing the video. So I'm gonna stay in this because it's still comfy. The linen pants are really comfortable. But I'm gonna stay on in wearing this so that when I finish work, I change. And I could know that that's like the signal for the end of the day. 
that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and you're filled by my water bottle. I had a conversation, I had a conversation with Sierra and she was telling me how a certain part in the Stanley is made out of lead. And so even though you wouldn't consume it, I'm sure over time, like if you wear and tear, I don't know, that's making me kind of second guess this. I mean, I was this was gifted, so um, this was gifted from family, so uh, I, I thankfully didn't have to spend money on it. And I love my hydro flask. It's only, I have a hydro flask that's only 20 ounces, so I need to do some research on that. Hopefully that doesn't have any lead in it. But anyway, new fear unlocked. Um, for now, we're gonna keep our Stanley. I had food on my mouth the whole time. Okay, I'm gonna refill my water bottle. But yeah, that was like a new fear unlocked. I don't know. I don't wanna spend money on a water bottle. I put that on my do not buy list. I got things I'm not buying is water bottles. But if, I need to do some research. Because if it's true, then our days are numbered with the Stanley. Um, but we will see, because I love my Stanley. Ooh. What I do hate is like whenever I have lip gloss and stuff, it gets stuck, it's disgusting, it gets stuck on the straw. Um, so I don't like that, but. When I say that this thing has helped me drink so much water and I feel like it's helped my skin so much, like right now, I don't have any acne. I just have acne scars, if you could see. Like there's some like like scarring, but not like acne. Like these are just like old acne scars, like hyper, uh, hyperpigmentation um, because I've been drinking a lot of water, been doing my skincare. And so, yeah, Ugh, I need to do, edit this video. Let's do it.